we're talking about moving away from grades and the entire culture of education has been geared around that. We're definitely the guinea pigs. I kind of feel like guinea pigs, we're trying to step out on them. Yeah, I was a little skeptical. <laughs> we're also guinea pigs ourselves though, right along there with them, like trying to refine our craft, trying to refine education, take it to the next level for the 21st century. This is a pretty significant paradigm shift for the student and for the parents. And I'm also gonna throw in there still for a lot of teachers. Teachers are learners too. Um, and so we're, we're having to learn and operate at the same time. And until you're really comfortable, you're probably not feeling like you're doing it terribly well. So um, that may be some of the pushback that is coming from, from teachers in general is, is just the lack of comfort. Um, and really having a firm grip on proficiency-based education and what that means. Just give it a chance, like give it a chance to, you know, don't think of it as slapping a grade on something and being done. Think of it as assessing a student's understanding of the topic. So with the emergence of the proficiencies, it's been kind of tough on veteran teachers. You get comfortable doing things one way and all of a sudden things change somewhat dramatically and it, uh, it's a real challenge. Certain students that might normally struggle at the old system, like great, like for example, I know for a fact I don't do well on testing. It needs to be equal for all students. A lot of times, especially in high school, we tend to start with like, what's the content that's most interesting or most dynamic or most important for students. And then the skills come, you know, hopefully, if at all, after the fact. So this is just a total reversal of that. It's putting the skills first and foremost. What are the things students need to be able to do in ninth grade, at the end of high school, in life in general? And then the content is just a vehicle to give students a practice. And like kind of like check off those transferable skills. There are a lot of positives with this system in terms of the opportunity for students to amend some of their work. I've had difficulties in this class and when I do, I can always redo things or design my own project so I can earn my proficiencies that way, which I find is really nice because I couldn't do that before. It was kind of just, you take a test and if you didn't do well on it, then you were kind of just stuck there. A student can see a report card with numerical grades on it and think they know exactly how they're doing, as artificial as those numbers might be. You're never really given much information besides you just got a lower grade, but if you do like proficiencies and you get like a lower proficiency, it tells you exactly what parts of it you were lower on and what parts you did really well. And I really like appreciate that. It's not like stuff slapping grades on stuff anymore. It's just, it's a understanding based thing. We're working towards learning the skills rather than working towards having an outstanding GPA. Because I think there we feel as though if we have the right skills, then a good GPA will follow. So we do things called learning scales. It pretty much goes from getting started, basic proficiency, proficient, and proficient with distinction. They don't they don't make the learning scale and just show it to you. It's like a, it's a discussion about what should be on the learning scale, what should be considered proficient. You have to self-assess on the learning scales. So you're thinking about what you're learning. Whereas before, I was just thinking that I knew it because I did it and there wasn't any self-reflection. So now I have to be like, did I learn this? And I'm like, no, I need to learn it again. Like I obviously didn't meet the proficiency. That for us has been key this year is including the students in the conversation right from the beginning. We showed them the scales, we put it so that they could edit and comment just a real entry point, like an on-ramp. And here's what you do next, and here's what you do next. And we were getting so much better, actually, or at least I was getting better at teaching all of the tiny little steps. Can we, can we take some steps to do that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that with proficiencies, it almost makes it feel a little bit easier for students. Instead of, oh, there's all these new things we have to learn, it's, oh, I'm going to take this skill that I already know and apply it to this different picture, this different idea. I think for me it's about that information. What information do you get very specifically about your learner? It feels more similar to the life or what I know of it because I think that things aren't just given a number. Not everything can be quantified. So I think having learning scales where you can sort of see where you are and work your way up it is 
a much more organic process and I think proficiency based is definitely moving in the right direction. I think it's just working out how we can move it. Everyone needs to be re-educated on this process and needs to be open and give this new system an opportunity to prove itself.